if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know I'm usually pretty cheerful, but this is not a happy video. This video is about all the stuff I'm sick of seeing on social media, and I know I'm not the only one sick of seeing it. It has to be like other people. We can make a group of all the people who are tired of seeing it, and if it's not enough people, then fine, I'll be by myself. The following things I'm about to name should be left in 2016. Even though it's March, you get this one pass to still leave something in 2016. So choose wisely. Don't get me wrong, some of this stuff, I'm probably hypocritical about it. If you catch me, don't expose me, just slide in my DMs and I'll like delete it before anyone knows why I deleted it. It'll just be between us. Number one, smoking. For all the girls, because mostly girls do this, but I guess some guys do it too. We do not need to see a snap for every time you hit a blunt. We get it. You smoke. We don't care. Drugs are not cool, kids. But if you do smoke, everybody don't need to know. And even if you want everybody to know, okay, you post a little picture with the smoke in front of your face, that's fine. When you make a snap with you smoking and the next snap, the same song shouldn't still be on. Let it go. Number two, stolen or repeated tweets. If I got five followers and you got 12 followers and I post something and you know it's good, don't steal my tweet just because you got more followers. That's petty. Don't be petty. You didn't think of it. Just retweet me. Support others. Uh, if you tweet something in March and it don't get a lot of retweets, don't tweet it again in April. Or don't tweet it again later that day we seen it. It just wasn't funny. It wasn't that great. Let it go. It's okay. Number three, makeup flashback. I should not be able to see how long you baked your face, what direction you pressed the powder in, what color powder. I should not be able to see that in your pictures. If you, if I see it, I know you see it. Just don't post it. It's okay. Like, you can just, like, recreate the look and then post the picture later. Or just crop your face out and be like, outfit of the day or something. Don't post it. And if your friends don't tell you. They're not your friends. Get new friends. Leave the friends with the flashback in 2016. Number four, backgrounds. Please check the background of your picture. Don't take a picture in a bathroom and it's... Don't take a picture in a bathroom and it's poop in the toilet. Like, that's so nasty. Or, like, don't take a picture in your room and it's, like tampon wrappers or something on the floor just don't do it check the background first or even take it back to the myspace days and put like words all over the background so nobody can really see the background or like put the blur around so it's only like you just please check your background or your pictures because please number five and six are both about songs so number five is share your songs people post a video with a song and then you want to know like what the song is and then they just won't respond to you or something like that. It's a song. Everybody's going to know. I know it eventually. It's not the Krabby Patty formula. Just share the song. You know at first, if you want credit, I'll give you credit for the song. Just share the song. Like, I don't get it. Number six is know the words. You don't know how many snaps I see of people who know, like, the first line of the 10 seconds that's going to be in the snap. And then for the rest of it, they don't even try to, like, be cute in the snap camera or something. They just, like, make fake words. Like, they just mouth stuff that clearly doesn't go with the song. And guys are the ones who do it the most. So, like, this... Stop. You look crazy. You, like, you clearly don't know the words. Just... Even if you have to rewind the song a few times to just know the part that you're going to put in your snap, do that. It's okay. Seven through nine is all kind of about relationships. So number seven is breakups. If y'all together for a year and y'all break up for a year and then y'all get back together, y'all aren't three years strong or y'all aren't back like y'all never left. Like y'all was broken up for a long time. You could have had a whole nother girlfriend or boyfriend in the year that how do you even think that it's okay to count that you have to start over like everybody else that time in the middle doesn't count like you can be all grown up now like no it's not the same it's not number eight is twitter problems and boyfriend if you're watching this like i'm only this much of a hypocrite about it don't put like 
all your relationship problems on Twitter. But in my defense, I don't put, like, exactly what's happening on Twitter. I just tweet, like, subliminal sometimes. Don't go back and forth with your boyfriend on Twitter, with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, or anybody for that matter, on Twitter fussing. Like, everybody don't need to know, like, what's going on in your home. Like, just text each other or something. Number nine is pictures. But number nine isn't really, like, a problem. Number nine is kind of like a request. Who takes all of the, um, like, all of the cute couple pictures? Because, well, some of them are really awkward. So, I guess it can be a problem. Like, if you and your boyfriend in bed and, like, y'all don't got no clothes on and y'all, like, laid up, who took that picture? Like, I can see all four of your hands. I don't, who took that? That's nasty. But, for the ones that's cute, like, whoever taking these pictures for y'all, like, if y'all can slide in my DMs and let y'all know, because me and my boyfriend, we be cute, and, uh, no, it's like I'm playing, but we need one of those photographers. Number 10, I think, is the biggest, like, number 10 is the biggest thing that goes across, like, all social media. It's not just Twitter, Twittergram. It's not just Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat. It goes for everything, and even in real life, number 10 is really just be yourself, like, don't be somebody on social media that people in real life know you're not. Like, don't try to be, like, a dope boy drug dealer on Twitter or on Instagram or on Snapchat when we all know that you're not like that or, like, that your mother don't play that stuff. So, like, just be yourself. Like, it's okay. Plus, the people that follow you know you. So why are you even... I don't get it. Um, so, yeah, just be yourself. Now, I have so many more rules, but I didn't think I should put them all in the video just because I wanted a decent number. So, just because I wanted, I didn't want the video to be too long. But if you have any other, like, social media, no-nos, things to let go, things to leave in 2016, go ahead and slide in them comments. And I might add it to my next video if I decide to do a part two. Other than that, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe in the lower left-hand corner. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video.